Silver reaches all-time highs in most global currencies. Silver in the US dollar is next. Silver is in a hidden global bull market. Silver has been lagging behind gold significantly, creating uncertainty for investors looking for opportunities in precious metals. Is this an epic opportunity for silver and US dollar investors? The most likely answer is yes, it's only a matter of time most likely until silver in US dollars is going to test its all time highs. This week's gold and silver specials from Miles Franklin are one ounce silver kangaroos for $2.99 over spot. We also have the beautiful one ounce gold maples for only $60 over spot. Massive inventory. Hit me up. I will send you our entire price sheet. Slayer at milesfranklin.com or call me 330-485-6172. I am not a stingy guy. I will make sure you're taken care of. So hit me up. Thanks for listening to these announcements. Now let's talk silver welcome back my friends and thank you for tuning in we have a very interesting article that came out two days ago it's talking about silver reaching all-time highs and all these other currencies and mentioning that the u.s dollar is next now before we jump into this article i do want to mention that I post daily silver videos. So if you want the newest, latest information on a daily basis, then make sure you click subscribe. And also how incredible would it be getting silver shipped straight to your front doorstep for free by just clicking one button? Well, that's a reality I can offer you over here. Subscribe and you will be entered in my silver giveaway very soon. Make sure you click the bell so you don't miss the entry video and like always may the luckiest stacker win it's talking about silver in u.s dollar terms is well below its all-time high so silver is printing new all-time highs in many global currencies we compare silver in the u.s dollar with silver in other global currencies out of 10 currencies this is crazy out of 10 silver is setting new all-time highs in four and silver is inches below all-time highs in three others. So we conclude that the global trend of silver is up. Silver is in a global bull market, despite the fact that silver in U.S. dollar terms is not hitting new all-time highs yet. Is this an epic opportunity for silver in USD investors? The most likely answer is yes. It's only a matter of time, most likely, until silver in U.S. dollars is going to test all time highs. Now, let me know in the comment section below, do you agree with this? And did you know that this is happening with silver across the globe? And I'll show why these charts are so interesting because they go over all these other currencies and it is incredible to see what's happening to silver in these other currencies. And it only begs the question of when is it going to happen to the dollar, especially looking what's about to happen over the next couple of months geopolitically, especially the BRICS nations and their new currency. See, this is a secular silver chart without annotations. This chart has a clear setup that any analyst and chartist will recognize as a bullish cup and handle. The chart says that it's on its way to $50 an ounce. It's only a matter of time. So for investors that are not used to analyzing chart patterns, we present the quarterly candlestick chart, which makes the point very clear. While next silver chart has limited annotations, it should be clear from its structure, especially the breakout out of this consolidation green shade area on the chart that a basing formation is now in the final stage of completing. And folks, we are in a 44 year cup and handle. This is a year by year chart. This is 1980 and this is 2011. Both times silver hit $50. Now look, look at this pattern. Look where prices are stabilizing, but this time something's different. Do you see back in 1980 what happened? It shot up. Look at that candlestick right there. This is directly from the Hunt brothers cornering the market. But even in, in 2011, right? But look what's happening now. It's a gradual approach, meaning that it's going to stay higher once it keeps going up. It's gradually going up. That's how things are supposed to happen. 
corrections are actually healthy. You don't want something to go up, 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 because then it's going to go down, 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 just like Bitcoin in 2016. It has to stabilize, and that is what silver is doing. So here's silver in the Indian rupee, new all-time highs, right? No surprise. The retail public as well as investors keep on hoarding physical silver in recent years, also in 2024. Now, do you think it's ironic that the Indian rupee and silver in the Russian ruble is at all-time highs? I mean, look at these two countries in particular. What countries are in the BRICS nations? Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. China is not only the biggest consumer of silver, but they're also the biggest producer now which is a newer thing. It used to be Mexico and Peru that dominated the silver supply chain, producing those two countries alone produce nearly half of all the global silver worldwide. But now we're seeing things shift. So what other countries? We have silver in the Australian dollar at new all-time highs, silver in the African rand at new all-time highs, silver in Canadian dollar inches below its all-time highs, silver in euros inches below its all-time highs, silver in the British pound close to hitting its all-time high, silver in the Japanese yen is inching towards it as well. Shown above, is hitting new all-time highs, is getting very close to former all-time highs. The situation in the Japanese yen is a little different, also specific. See, silver in the yen experienced an enormous spike back in January 1980, which was very short-lived, excluding this outlier, which is technically not accurate, but helps us make the point in the context of this article. Silver is hitting its 1981 highs well above its 2011 highs. It is interesting to see how the Hunt brothers affected the global market uh, from their shenanigans. Here's silver in the Chinese renminbi. It's uh, below its all-time high. The chart setup is aggressive and suggests that a test of its all-time high is underway. Um, silver in the Swiss franc, we have it uh, only exception when looking at silver priced in the world currencies other than US dollars, silver in the Swiss franc. While this silver chart setup is extremely bullish, silver in CHF is well below its all-time highs. And uh, so silver is at all-time highs in most currencies. So what, right? What does this mean? Well, why does this silver analysis matter because it puts the silver bull market in perspective. We have been forecasting a strong silver bull market since a few years with silver hitting new all-time highs in the second half of this decade. To some degree, our forecast did already materialize, but not when looking at silver in the US dollar market. What matters is this, the global silver trend is up and hitting new all-time highs in most currencies. Not yet in the US dollar, it's the silver bull market dynamic that truly matters. It is a matter of time until silver priced in US dollars will also hit all-time highs. The conclusion is simple, no need to over-engineer things. I'm so glad they said that last sentence. A lot of people will overcomplicate something that is not so complicated. I can break down silver being, and for sure, being the top dog in one sentence that is undeniable proof. You wanna know how? There is a direct correlation between the dollar and silver and gold, right? It's a direct negative correlation. When the dollar is strong, when the dollar index is strong, gold and silver are weak and vice versa. So when the dollar is weak, we know that silver is strong. Well, we know the dollar inevitably is going to collapse. It's lost 98% of its original purchasing power. 99% is next. And we're $35 trillion in debt. And it's getting worse. And de-dollarization is real. So since we know the dollar is going to inevitably collapse, what does that say about silver that has a direct negative correlation that does exactly what the dollar does on the opposite side? That means silver will take off. I mean, it's as literal as that. 
you can't have a collapsing dollar with a collapsing silver market. It's not how it works. And that's benefiting gold as well. But then think about all the other things on top of, you know, the monetary side where silver also benefits with global demand, with silver being the most highly conductive metal, with all of the silver that we need, with the record-breaking silver supply deficits in the last four years hitting a deficit of 770 million ounces in the last four years alone, with next year supposed to be more record-breaking, uh, you know, demands at 1.4 billion ounces, we're predicting a 252 million ounce deficit this year alone. With advancements in technology, AI chips, Samsung's new battery, solar panels using twice as much since the back side of the panels are also going to be plated in PV cells, which are called photovoltaics, or photovoltaics are called PV cells, since the back side of the panel can reflect off of areas in sand, catching twice as much energy. Uh, along with, you know, the advancements in military, there's 500 ounces of silver in a single Tomahawk missile, 11,000 ounces in some torpedoes, but think about satellites, drones, rockets, think about all of that, but silver is vanishing off the globe in the hundreds of millions of ounces and getting harder to find. On top of that, we also know it's inevitably going to just because the dollar's collapsing as well. See, the second half of what I just said, gold's not going to benefit from all that, but it will when the dollar does. So regardless, whether you buy silver or gold, they're both going to do its thing. It's both, it's both wealth preservation, but some just have different opportunities than others. So with that said, I hope that you got it as clear as day. Don't overthink it. What I just said I, I I explained it very plain and simple at first, and then I kind of broke off into, you know, more context, but don't overthink it. You don't need to over-engineer things. You don't got to study charts. You don't got to look at the prices on a day-to-day -day basis, whether you buy it at, whether you buy silver at $31.66 today or $31.82 or $30.91 or $33.20. It doesn't matter. You will be looking back at any of those prices in you will pray you could build a time machine to buy silver at any of those prices. And you will be laughing at yourself that you thought $33 was too pricey for an ounce of silver and you held off. You will be laughing at yourself that you thought that $33 was too pricey. It's not going to matter. We're talking about something much, much more valuable. We're talking about sil if gold could be $2,600. When silver has 26,000 more uses than gold and is not scarce at all whatsoever, then what do you think silver is going to do when natural price selection starts to, starts to occur? Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, 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 subscribe. Um, you know, channel growth is important, especially as I try to reach as many people as possible, reach people that have never heard of stacking or investing into silver don't know what's going on around the world or with the dollar you know liking these videos really helps subscribing commenting really helps sharing the videos really helps watching till the end really really helps um so yeah i love you all make sure if you guys wanted to purchase some of this shiny stuff you hit me up slayer at milesfranklin.com or call me 330-485-6172 i know my speech is still a little shaky um i got dental work done earlier this week so uh you know this i still have you know a little bit of a lisp um it's quite annoying but it will go away uh so yeah anyways i love you all thank you so much for tuning in this is silver slayer i will see you guys tomorrow or maybe even later today i'm gonna start ramping up the videos again so yeah peace